court the mandatory term there is a Before Chief Magistrate Ronald Kaiso of Buganda Road Chief Magistrate's Court, prosecution was first allowed to amend the charge sheet in the case against the former deputy RSC Silubaga Division and Sony Bulora. Bulola was slapped with six new counts of spreading malicious information <coughs> and hate speech against the Speaker of Parliament and it and it among between March 2024 and June 2024 in the areas of Kampala district or thereabout, while using a computer be shared malicious information about the right honorable Anita Annette Amon. The charges in details indicated that Anderson Warora also demeaned and promoted hostility against a speaker by uttering words like speaker among is corrupt, kidnapper and a murderer, which information he displayed on his ex handle at other HB. Bora pleaded not guilty to all the alleged offenses. Shared information that the right honorable Anita Anit Amon, the Speaker of Parliament of the Republic of Uganda, is a torturer, which information is likely to ridicule or degrade or demean and promote hostility against the said right honorable Anita Annette Amon. Through his legal team led by Bernard Owondo, Borora has court to grant him bail by presenting for sureties. That where a person is arrested in respect of a criminal offence, that person is entitled to apply to court to be released on bail. The liberty of one, your worship, is the liberty of all. The liberty of one must never be curtailed lightly. Prosecution represented by Assistant DPP Richard Bidi Vumbuka and State Anthony Joan Keko requested for more time to verify the documents presented to court by the accused and his sureties. So you want to verify, you want to go to URSB? Yes, <laughs> and that's a fact. You also want to go to that church where they were Absolutely. I know that uh, Georgina is a wife. Yes. Because she first said she's a husband. Mm. I, want to, I want to put it clear. <laughs> so, Your Worship, uh, we need time to verify this information and we uh, would have gotten this before, but because we got them now, now, we cannot be ambushed to respond. We are back at legalities. Okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. So, we seek an adjournment. Although it was sad for defense to allow the prayers, Magistrate Lohadika is overruled both sides to have the case resume on 19th July 2024. Given the nature of this court where we get so many forgeries, I find it fair to allow the state to verify the authenticity of the documents. In the of justice, and since the state has agreed to reduce the time sought to verify the documents, and further for the reasons given for them to actually not be around or attending a high court session, I do be allowed. I do hereby adjourn this matter to Friday, 19th July, 2024, at 9 o'clock. Following this, Anderson Borora was further remanded to Rosula Government Prison until 19th July, 2024. Deborah Namamonde, Nansubuga Viola, UBC News.